Nanak Music Festival, wow, finally we did it after three years of trying to get here at what an awesome experience. Haven't had one like it. I mean, the accommodation alone, like they gave us a heads up about the wildlife, but honestly did not expect uh, so many kangaroos and emus. So they put us up in these cute little bungalows and, you know, you'd go out on your porch, there'd be a kangaroo there, I'd have a nap, I'd wake up, there'd be an emu in my window, I'd go to the toilet, open up the door of the outhouse and there's a kangaroo just waiting for me. Um, something really grounding and settling about having all these animals around. Day one, we played the amphitheater. I won't lie, I was not expecting to be playing in front of that many people. They were absolutely pumping, they were up the front. Damn, they were vibing and they were paying attention as well. And you kind of get into this habit of feeling like when you're at a festival, you just got to play bangers. Um, but I took a chance and kind of had a, a bit more of an intimate chat in the middle of the set with them. And it, um, it went down really well. It was a good feeling. It was great to be able to personally uh, connect with that many people. That's when it's something you normally do in an, in an intimate setting. We're feeling a lot more at home with the new songs compared to gig one. Holy shit, that was almost embarrassing. Day two, got up, spent some time on the Flying Foxes, had a hit of some tennis, had a beatbox session with an emu. <laughs> and then we took the high from the previous night, brought it onto the stage for our second set, the crowd was just as banging. And then we spent a whole heap of time afterwards just enjoying the festival, having some drinks, smashing some donuts. Yeah, a complete contrast to how we were feeling after day one and has definitely sparked us up uh, for the rest of the run. And to Nanit Music Festival, thank you so much for having us. We felt the love. I mean, you guys have got something really special here. Uh, it's definitely a reflection of you know, the space in which you've, you've put this on and um, and what you guys do behind the scenes. So it's an absolute privilege to be a part of it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's another one. <laughs> Honestly, nothing like it.